Ever since Apple launched the M1 Mac Mini, I've been really tempted to switch. Call me Apple curious, if you will. Now, I've had iPads and iPhones in the past, but I've never owned a Mac laptop or computer. I've been a Windows PC user for decades. A couple of months ago, my ridiculously big, expensive PC started to blue screen on an almost daily basis, needing a complete rebuild each time. So on the third day, I finally snapped and thought, you know what, sod it, I'm going to switch. In a future video, I'll take a deep dive into my current setup and what my experience has been switching from PC to Mac. But today, I want to focus on three things. Would my Mac Mini work with my Huey on Canvas Pro drawing tablet? Would it work with my loop deck? And more importantly, how well would it run Rebel? So let's take a look. My name's Pete. Welcome to Basement Picasso. So first up, what Mac Mini did I go for? Well, after watching a number of reviews, I went for the absolute basic machine. It's £599 in the UK. I actually got it for 569 and there are some even better deals available now. It's incredible value for money. Of course, that quickly goes out the window if you start adding Apple memory and storage. But I took a punt that I wouldn't need anything like the 64 gigabytes of RAM that I had in my PC. And I could also get away with using additional external storage. The Huion Canvas Pro 24 has worked perfectly. I know some people are concerned about 4K displays not being as clear as 5K due to scaling, but using a utility called Better Display, I've had no issues with it. The only minor niggle is that the Huion driver app won't start up automatically, and I've tried every setting I can find, but I have to open it manually that's not a big issue. I actually use an Apple shortcut to prepare the machine for drawing and recording. So that shortcut can close unnecessary things and open everything required in one click anyway. Similarly, the Lib Deck has worked flawlessly and it even starts up every time without issue. So overall, hardware wise, I've really had absolutely no issue switching. So then it came to Rebel. And my main concerns were around whether I would have enough memory for larger files and how well it would run, particularly with more demanding things like watercolour simulation over texture and impasto. So I fired up Rebel rather nervously and started scribbling on the default canvas and was pleasantly surprised at how smooth and responsive it seems to be, even at larger brush sizes. And then I laid down some watercolour, and it did this. This isn't time-lapse or speeded up. This is just how quickly it ran. It was way faster than my ridiculous 64 gigabytes Core i9 RTX 4060 beast of a PC. I wish I could show you side by side, but unfortunately that machine is in bits now. So I can only give you a subjective comparison. To me, it feels orders of magnitudes faster on this machine. It's brilliant. Now, the only downside is that the watercolour simulation does push the machine hard. In fact, it's one of the few things so far that has really caused the fans to kick in. Usually the Mac Mini is completely silent. Nanopixel, by comparison, it also pushes the GPU not quite so hard. And large files such as a, a big A2 300 dpi image don't seem to cause any memory issues either, even when all the screen recordings and uh, things are going on as well. So can the M4 Mac Mini run Rebel? Yes, absolutely. Extremely well. Even if you go for the very base model, I have to say that I've been really impressed and I have absolutely no regrets switching to Mac for creative work, which, let's face it, 
probably shouldn't come as a surprise anyway. The next video will be a, a deep dive into the new setup that I've got and whether I would recommend switching from PC to Mac overall. So maybe consider subscribing if you want to see that. I've also launched my Patreon, which is going to have reference photos and videos for you to use, along with demonstrations and tutorials. I'll also be creating custom Rebel brushes and other digital assets, including handmade textures and more. I'll be focusing mainly on Rebel, particularly once Rebel 8 launches. So if that's your main program, please feel free to check out my Patreon. There'll also be a few mentorship and coaching places available. So if you'd like to speak to me one-to-one, -one, I'd be delighted to help. If you've made it this far, then thank you so much for your support. It is genuinely appreciated. I hope the video was helpful. Please consider giving the video a like if it was useful, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.